How's it going guys? Welcome to Holly Scoops Just Saying. It is a special day because we have a very special guest. As always, I'm Yay. Madison Hill. I'm Madison Conklin. And I'm Jessica Carroll. And thank you so much for having me today. Oh, I'm so excited How you're fun. here. We have a lot of things to talk about. Jessica was on The Bachelor this season. We're going to talk about her experience. But before we do that, first you guys know we've got to talk about Kylie Jenner. And reality TV. And reality <laughs> Is TV. Is it real? That's Is it the not? question. We don't know. We're going to find out though. Okay, so first about Kylie. On Sunday's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kris Jenner had some interesting words to say about Kylie, I guess you could say. She said, quote, I really feel bad for Kylie because there's always somebody that's trying to exploit a certain situation. Okay, many people on Twitter were not feeling those words. Right, and this <laughs> happened after, I guess, Chris was doing her interview, her one-on-one, -on -one, and got a call from Kylie being like, Mom, my employee tried to take a picture of me. She's trying to hide the pregnancy, so of course the employee was probably taking a picture to then sell to a publication. And those are worth a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> and so when, you know, Chris goes, I feel like people try to exploit Kylie. People on Twitter found the irony in this, as did I, and one fan tweeted, quote, yeah, the only one who exploits Kris Jenner's kids is her. <laughs> and then another one um, For having said, them on a reality show since they were like little children. Little right, babies. exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, like supporting their plastic surgery habits and like, <laughs> yes, do anything you can to be more famous and make our family famous. Anyways, <laughs> another person said, sorry for stating the obvious, but she actually said, I really feel bad for Kylie because there's always somebody that's trying to exploit a certain situation. Situation. LOL. Chris is the one who exploits all our kids and she's worried about others doing it. That was from Rosa. So yeah, obviously people just found it's, this it's so funny. It's just very ironic. Yes. Exactly what you said. It's like she is worried about people exploiting Kylie even though I feel like the Kardashians exploit us all the time. Hey, here we are talking about a pregnancy that we don't even know is real or not yet. I think Kylie Jenner is 100% pregnant and I believe that whatever she's doing, not being photographed, not posting as often, all mm. this stuff, I don't know if it's like a strategy, but it's working because look at us. We're talking about right. it all the time. Yes. Right. Is she pregnant? Is she not pregnant? Oh my God, new picture. Is it a belly? Is it not? Like, mm -hmm. we're talking about it. And so it's genius. And I mean, the, the Kardashians, I have to give them credit because everything they do is brilliant. They have created an empire. Right. Yes. Even if it's from exploiting people. And even so, like what you were saying, it's been so many hints here and there. And even some of you guys who watch our Kylie stories have a theory that all of this is being built up and there's not going to be a pregnancy, there's not going to be a baby. Here's some of your own very, you very own YouTube comments. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca Destin said, quote, I can't wait when she says she isn't pregnant. Camila Grande Little Mixer, I see where your fans are, uh, <laughs> said, quote, so she is actually pregnant. Can somebody please tell me because I stopped wondering around November 2017. These things are so messed up. Uh, Alyssa Random said, quote, if Kylie wasn't pregnant, I'm pretty sure she would have told everyone off about it. And last but not least, Miss Caitlin Smith said, quote, maybe she was never pregnant, which would be pretty epic. Exactly. What do you guys think? Pregnant? Oh, I don't know. You I know, mean, just, I'm sorry, I'm going to step over no, your words no, there, no, Mads, love you much. No. But no, you do not create your whole brand on social media, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and then go from posting like half naked pictures where she's wearing a see through bra to, just the face. Yeah. That, that yeah. It's just, and, and her makeup is amazing because you can't tell any like weight yeah. right. in the face, which I know happens. Yeah, she, for me, is hands hands down pregnant and maybe she had the baby, we don't know. Right. I'm just I getting sick and tired of I'm it. I'm starting for it. to have a few doubt. Like, I've always been like, 100%, it's real. But the only reason I'm doubting is because it was like, first, the reveal was going to be on the Christmas card. Yeah. That didn't that, happen. Yeah. Then it was going to be on this episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. That hasn't happened. So I'm like, when is it gonna happen? Is she just gonna post like a one-year-old picture of the baby on Instagram? Like, no, she's, what's happening? yeah, next thing you know, she's gonna be like, oh, this is my two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I also, when I first heard that she was pregnant, I thought that maybe it was, it was gonna be Kim's surrogate. Right, but as we know. Yeah, and everyone was saying that, but yeah, no. Yeah. So we figured that but, out today. That's not, we can cross that theory yeah, off the off. list. So I yeah. don't know, who knows what's real, what's not, especially when it comes to reality television. Well, I do wanna, I do wanna oh, add want something some, really quick okay. before we get to dress, because I know you have a lot, and we have questions <laughs> for you about uh, reality TV. Another person tweeted, why the need for such, such secrecy? What is she attempting to hide, and why exactly? For ratings to prevent a dip in her 
brand's popularity. Chris may be a great manager, but the way she has handled this and many other family issues shows exactly the type of mom she is. So Ooh. keeping it a secret, yeah. not addressing it. Now, again, a dip in ratings, reality TV. Yeah, of course. It, they feed off of that. So without further ado. Everything is always like a secret with them, which yeah. it, it builds up the excitement, mm -hmm. you know? So I agree. So with your experience on The Bachelor, I know you were really great on social media, keeping people updated on one the episode. So were you, how do you cross the line of like telling people information, but still keeping some secret before the episode goes? Yeah, I mean, it was like, I literally had to keep my lips sealed for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And that was challenging because I'm a talker. You talk yeah. for a living. <laughs> I talk for a living and I love to share everything. But I really, I like kept everything, my mouth shut until ABC released that I was, you know, a cast, like mm -hmm. a cast member. Now, is that when you took your social media break? Yeah. Okay. I, took, I told everyone I took a little social media break, AKA I was like filming and then I just couldn't say anything. Yeah. Right. But it was, um, it was a very interesting experience. Like I wouldn't necessarily say it was fun, mm -hmm. but it was a check the box for me. And overall, I'm really glad I did it, but it is definitely reality TV. Well, and speaking of being like exploited on reality TV, did you ever once feel exploited? Like, did they change your image or make you appear, you know, a, a certain way and you're like, that's not who I am? Or No, I actually, you know, that was one thing I was um, kind of nervous about was after the premiere aired, like how, what are they going to air of me? What, mm -hmm. how many eye rolls did I do? Because you're on camera 24 seven and uh -huh. you just do these things naturally. Yeah, but right. the way editing is, they can make you look like a biatch mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but I like the way they edited it. They, you know, they captured my story because the whole reason why I did The Bachelor is because my dad had met Ari before. Mm -hmm. And obviously my dad has now passed. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go and let's do it. Like, right. why not? Yeah. And so I told, I had this like really good connection and I got to tell Ari that you've actually met my dad. Ari remembered meeting my dad, which was really oh, cool. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. And one little behind the scenes Scene that they actually didn't air was it was freezing the night of the premiere uh -huh. like freezing I was drinking hot water and coffee and when I had my one-on-one -on -one, even though we were sitting next to a fireplace Ari actually took off his jacket and like wrapped it around my shoulders what a gentleman <laughs> All right. a gentleman and the producers were like hold it wait a second it's interfering with your mic so I had to like give his jacket back to him so mm -hmm. I was so did that like ruin the moment a little bit because oh, then yeah, you're about like, to be cut, like, cut, cut. Right, they're uh, about to kiss, cut, sorry. Especially because you're telling a very genuine yeah. story from the heart and then it's like, oh, hold it right there. <laughs> okay, keep going, bring yeah. it on. Like, I well, don't know. Good thing is we didn't actually get that far into the okay. story, but okay. if, that, if, if it did happen mid-story, it would have really ruined the moment. <laughs> I was like, you hold on. Yeah. No, no, I'm freezing and I'm nervous, so I'm really shaking over here. <laughs> yeah. Please step back. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, so it wasn't, yeah. We were fine. Didn't, okay. It didn't ruin the moment. What's okay. something that Bachelor viewers everywhere don't really know from watching that opening scene? What do we not see on television? There's a lot that you don't see. Like, I mean, you spend more time with the girls than you obviously do with Ari. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I did have about 10 minutes with Ari, but a lot of the girls get a minute before another girl oh comes God. in. Yeah. So it's like, how does he decide what girls to keep after spending 10 minutes with me, which he didn't keep me around, or 30 seconds with another girl who he has no idea what to right. expect. Yeah. So that was very interesting, but you spent a lot of time, like I spent all night with the girls just mm -hmm. chatting on the couch. And that was one thing is when I left that night, I was bummed, like I was heartbroken because I really got to know these girls. I wanted to keep in touch with them. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hang out with them more. Um, but one thing too is when I did leave, the eight girls who actually left with me, we have all joined forces. And it was really those eight girls that helped me get through not getting a rose, uh -huh. and in mm -hmm. my case, crying on national television. And we've actually even created this awesome platform called the Rose Girls, mm -hmm. just so that, I mean, everyone in life falls or gets rejected and deals with challenges. And so we want to just be like a very open, raw, authentic platform. We release a podcast a week, a blog a week, and then we have an Instagram account. Mm -hmm just to encourage other people to be resilient and that, you know, you need that support system to overcome challenges in life. And you guys well, all aren't in LA, correct? No. You're everywhere, so it's a bunch of different perspectives. Yeah, and that's the coolest thing too. We're from all over the United States and we are all very different, mm -hmm. but that was, that's what makes it unique, mm -hmm. you right. know, because we all have different perspectives on life and situations. I have a question going back to the whole Kylie thing, because you said um, you have different perspectives, you have a good support system to yeah. get through that. 
do you feel like with Chris Jenner being so exploit exploitive, mm -hmm. exploitive yeah, yeah. with uh, Kylie, that's kind of made her pregnancy what it is. Like she has to keep it a secret. It's kind of made it a worse experience for her. Like if you were in that situation, your mom was like, you can't say anything. No, we have to make this really big for everyone and we're gonna make this, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that, I definitely think that Chris has a lot of say, uh -huh. um, but I think that, I think Kylie just also doesn't want those pictures out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like she is young and she obviously loves to flaunt her body. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think that she wants to publicly say, you know, show it and showcase right. it. And I yeah. think that she wants to just kind of have this adorable baby with her body back. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, it never even happened. It never but happened. I do have the beautiful baby because of it. <laughs> yeah. So. Awesome. awesome. Well, Jessica, thank you so we much. had so much fun. Thank you brought you. such great insight into yes. this whole conversation. Plus, I love hearing behind the scenes details yes. of Bachelor. Yeah, of Who course. doesn't? You, see you guys, if you have any questions for Jessica, I'm sure she would be happy to answer them down Please. there in the comments. Yes. I know you're great at YouTube. Yep. She will definitely answer any questions. Let us know what you think about Kylie. What do you think about Chris saying that people are exploiting her? Do you feel exploited by the Kardashians and <laughs> yeah. the Jenners? Because we kind of do. Yeah. So talk about all those things down there in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and we'll see you here tomorrow on Hollywood Scoops. Just saying. Bye, Bye guys. guys.